Hello everyone and welcome on board. As you can see, we have got very lucky. We've got three cheetah. It's a mother with her two boys. And they're relaxing at the moment, but they are quite hungry. And the mother who's on the far left has made three attempted hunts today. She hasn't been successful with any of them yet. You can see her stomach's looking quite empty. The last meal they had was not yesterday evening, but the evening before. Now what's interesting about what happened today is her three attempted hunts, two were for smaller prey, Thompson's gazelle and impala, which would be easy for her to bring down if she managed to, to get onto one. And then the third attempt was for a young wildebeest, which she actually did manage to catch up to, grab onto, but it didn't, it managed to wrestle away from her. Her two boys weren't very much help. And who knows, maybe a little bit later on she will get up and active. My name's Scott. It's great to have you on board and a very big welcome to the three schools that are joining us. I'm teamed up with Craig on camera. Hello to David. You would like to know how many cheetah cubs will be born to your average litter. And three or four cubs is the kind of average litter size for cheetah. Sometimes a little bit higher than that, sometimes a little bit less. So I'm not sure how many cubs litter, she had but initially she's... with this litter, but she's done very well to raise these two. It's incredibly difficult for cheetah to raise their cubs out here. There's a lot of threats to them, lots of lion, hyena. And the good news is, is that soon these two boys will be heading off. It's time for them to move out of the house, which means she will be freed up to give birth to some new cubs. And I cannot wait for that to happen. And if we're very lucky, we may capture some very rare and seldom documented footage of cheetah mating. And the reason why it gets seldom documented or seldomly documented is because they almost always mate at night. And we have the lucky permission to be out after dark. We're the only people who get to drive around the Masai Mara after dark. So who knows? Maybe we will get lucky. You could see some rain falling in the background there. And that rain will be falling in Tanzania. And that rain is what's causing the migrating herds to move south away from Kenya down into Tanzania.